Welcome everybody on my channel. This is Twin Flame Reading. This is messages for you, Divine Feminine. We're going to see what is that, what is truly going on with Divine Masculine. Why they act in the way they act. Is there somebody else? Are they loyal to you? What they think about you? What they feel about you? And what is in the next actions and plans toward you? Whenever you click this video, it's going to resonate with you. It is timeless. So let me start. We're going to use first gypsy cards to see is there something that we should know. What's going on with Divine Masculine? What's going on right now with Divine Masculine? Let me see. You need one card. Wow. There's something. And it is about commitment. We got card of wedding. They're releasing themselves. But from what? Are they releasing themselves from fear? Of commitment? Or are they releasing themselves from the good things because they don't want that? Let me see. If the card is in reversal, then you're lucky. Oh my god, card is in reversal. You are lucky. So this means that your divine masculine have been have been afraid of commitment. He have been afraid of um, that thoughts that he have to be with you, that he have to have responsibilities and in one moment he made that decision. That he want to just quit with everything he just want to run and uh, run from that commitment completely but then something happened something happened in my family and they releasing themselves from that thinking that's why this card is in reversal because they regret for that decision and they want this video. They want commitment, they want union, they want marriage, they want wedding. They want to be with you. And they're releasing themselves from this negative way of thinking. So we're going to back this card in the deck. But this is first what they're doing, Divine Feminine. This, they're releasing themselves from that uh, feel that feel of uh, scare to be in commitment they're releasing themselves from that so if they have been left you if they have been ghosted you if they have been completely gone disappeared they're gonna come back because they regret for that they want this with you they want marriage and look what is on the bottom of the deck, happiness. So this is very beautiful. So let me see what's going on with Divine Masculine. What's going on? Right now in this moment, what's going on? What he doing? Where he is? Your Divine Masculine, your thing playing. You need one card. Wow, almost fell down. There it is. Your divine masculine had feelings for you. He truly loves you. And uh, maybe he is now running around, ignoring you, avoiding you. But he loves you. And he wants union with you. He wants happiness with you. Maybe Divine Masculine spending time with others, like uh, enjoyment, parties. But he's not forgetting what he feels for you. And who are you to them? What's going on with Divine Masculine? Let me see. 
So this is good event planning. First card. Let me see what the second card. You see desires, temptations. There's somebody. If they have been met somebody, they want to release themselves from that somebody. It's hard for them to release themselves from this energy, from this person. I'm going to put this card beside this because it's obviously important. That's why we got this card. The releasing, it fell on the floor, but it is in reversal. It means that it's hard. That something they don't want. So it could be that they have addictions like drinking. Uh, they can be in influence from others. What's going on with the mind masculine? What's going on with the mind masculine? Now, again, two cards fell down. Okay, let me see what it is. You see? The card of love in reversal. So they're releasing themselves from that negative field. They have been disappointed. They have been angry. They didn't want to be with you. But they're releasing themselves from that. They don't want to be that sadness anymore. They want family with you. They want child with you. They're thinking about it. Even if there's somebody else who they showing off in front of others, they are, they really feel lonely. Is there something else that we should know? What's going on right now with Divine Masculine? What's going on with Divine Masculine? Yes, definitely. One more card. Let me see. Card of Widow. So what we got here. Wow, this card again fell down from my hands. Let me check. So what we got here, Divine Feminine, is that. Where it is? One more card. Okay, so Divine Masculine have feelings for you. There is somebody, some influence. There can be addictions like drinking and uh, there can be addictions to other things like a, like a drug, gambling, influence from other people, third party situation like a one night stand connections or somebody who had been there and it was very hard for them to detach but what I'm seeing it is very hard for them to detach themselves from any temptations and uh, we have card of love in reversal and it's something what they feel like um, they have been betrayed you they feel like they lost beliefs in love and it is because they have been done something. We have pair here. We have widower and widow. And they watching in each other. They feel regret. They feel sadness. They feel lonely. Both of them mirroring each other. And it is because of divine masculine. It is because of these two things. He don't know how to love you. He don't know how to treat you better. He always escaping in these addictions, what he have. But he had feelings for you. He love you. He have pure love for you. But again, he doing all these things, what uncleaning, what uh, how to say, make him very dirty. And he feel like uh, he can't unclean what he done. He can wash that. What happened in the past, it's still chasing on him. And he's still doing the same. Like he's doing more and more those things because he feel 
you feel ashamed for what he done to you. But in front of others, he's showing like he enjoying. And he know that he re very much hurted you, Divine Feminine. So there it is, broken heart. And there is two people standing. They grieving. They, they are in sadness, deep sadness. This is two people who have tears, who have pain, who are lonely, who are on far distance. For those of you who are not on far distance, you just had that big gap between two of you. Gap of silence. Not talking to each other. Not watching each other. There's no communication, nothing. Just like this, standing in silence, in sadness. But for others of you, for most of you, it is relationship on far distance. They are far from you, you are far from them. And both of you feel the same. It can also be that Divine Masmi had been disappointed his parents, his family, your family. There can be big loss. So it can be that something very, very tragical happened to them, to you. And it is right now what's going on, Divine Family. This is right now. And we having this negative energy, some person who is influencing who, who watching everything on the side. And that person is not family member. That person is somebody else. So what they think about you, they, they think that you are in sadness, that they disappointed you, that they done wrong, they regret for that, they regret for what they doing and they thinking in the back of their minds that they should stop whatever they're doing because they see you in your sadness what does Divine Masculine feel for you? let me see what he feels for you let me see what Divine Masculine feels for you you need one card You need one card. What do my masculine feels for him? Will they open up? Will they tell you? It's going very slow, shuffling. What do my masculine feel for you? You need one card. God, angels, and spirits. What's going on? What do I ask me feel for you? I need one card. They don't want to say what they feel for you. It's like they're closing themselves from a lot of sadness. But they're gonna wait and see. What they feel for you. You need one card. Okay. The card of God Eye is universal. They feel like they lost opportunity, like they lost chance with you, like they lost you. Like everything is finished, like like a like they have been destroyed relationship and they feel that this is it, that this is the end. That there is no way out. What they feel for you? Wow, 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 wow. A lot of cards fell down. So what I'm seeing Divine Feminine in one moment, they're just going to explode and tell you everything. Okay, let me check what cards we have. What cards we have? What they're releasing? We have card of jealousy, card of uh, deceptions, lies, manipulations, card of union, card of tower, misfortune, 
Okay, so many bad cards fell down. Let me see. Sorry, this was phone call from my phone. Okay, so let me see what's going on there. What was happened? Your Divine Masculine. There it is, your card, there is somebody else. Okay, so what we have here, Divine Feminine, is that Divine Masculine have been really done bad and wrong. And what we see here, that he was escaped from you, that he was met somebody else, that he had been betrayed you, that he was feel that his happiness can be somebody else. And... Uh, He know that now he feel like everything is lost because uh, this is what happening. This is what happening here, Divine Family, with you, with them. They think that they lost you completely, that and they feel like they're gonna lose you, that there is somebody else in your life. But we're going to see right now. Again, we're gonna shuffle to see what they feel for you. So it could be that they're gonna admit you, that they will tell you that there have been somebody else, that they have been broke loyalty. We need one card. one card yes they think that they lost you that they lost something that was very important for them and that was feelings that they feel for you they lost the only thing that they have it's you it's your love Your loyalty, your faithfulness, your beliefs, your trust. Let me see. Because there is another person. Because there's somebody else in my family. That somebody else it could be also from far distance from another country and uh, they lost chance that person maybe was lying on them something they also doing this because uh, some legal things because they know that but forever for whatever they have been hoped that they will be with you that they will meet with you that they will be in union with you they thinking that there is no way that there is that there is what I'm hearing the divine mask is saying that he can't find a way to go back to you. So that's why they found somebody else. But they was thinking that you will be the one. And they have been lied to you. They have been ignoring through why they can't go back to you. What will happen with these feelings? What will happen?
your divine masculine understanding that whatever he had any connection with somebody he detached himself from that but there it is his happiness is standing very happy so if he tell you that he is not happy with his success with what he had that's not true he's very happy with what he had the only thing what he is not happy it is choosing the wrong partner with who he is what his next actions and steps toward you so in his feelings we seeing that he regret um, he regret in his mind but in his feelings he feels like it's done I'm, I lost I lost chance to be with divine feminine so they taking that easy way to just find somebody else and making themselves happy but it's not going that way divine feminine what they will do what is them actions toward you card of journey they want to come back to you and they don't want to be in third party situation we'll see so if your divine masculine acts strange three cards fell down let me see what is that There is your card and your card is connected with this card of home in reversal and officer in reversal. Why these three cards fell down? Because they release themselves from thinking that they should not commit to you, that they should not build life with you. This they have been thinking that they, your divine masculine have been think they should not commit to you, they should not build life with you, that you are not them home. They have been thinking like that. That's why in them feelings there is card of card I in reversal. But they're releasing themselves from that way of thinking. So we're gonna pack these cards in the deck and we're gonna shuffle again to see what is in the next actions and plans for you. What is in the next actions and plans what is divine masculine will do okay we got one card loyalty you see divine feminine it's killing them the way they have been treated you that mistake what they was made to find somebody else it's killing them they know that they can lose you completely they want to come back to you and to back to back home because this talk with cross it's always coming back home he want to be loyal he know where he's home he know that you're loyal that you're waiting behind family and one card also want to come out this card of thinking they think about you in the next actions they're gonna make good plan they think what they have been done they want to come forward they will not do it right away but they will do it they're going to message you and look divine family there is text message and there is a letter together and look what is on the other side your card so they thinking to communicate with you divine family they have been escaped from you but they want communication they want to be with you for sure and communication will come so both of you gonna talk to each other Two cards fell down. Let me see what is it. 
can I see? Okay. They're releasing themselves from some person who had been influencing on them, who told them, do not message Divine Feminine. Do not talk to Divine Feminine. This person, whoever this person, they're going to stop communicating with that person. We need one card. What is in the next actions and plans for you? There is very good cards in the next actions and plans, what I'm seeing here. We need only one card. What is in the next actions and plans for you? Let me see Divine Feminine. We need one card. Wow. What did I saw here? Divine Feminine. I don't know how to look these cards. We got card of money and card of wedding. So it came in, I can't say in this reversal, but I cannot say that it came in also in upright position. Okay, they're going to tell you that they need time to make money or they can commit but marriage will come you have to be patient divine feminine so this is what divine masculine want he want to come toward you he want you, your your loyalty he want your true love he want to be with you just with you he is not interested in anything else he will get out from that silence, from that ignoring. He's going to communicate with you again. And he's going to tell you. There it is. Money and wedding. And whatever he's going to speak, listen carefully. So don't be angry if he tells you that he can't do it right away because there is something connected with money. So he have to work on money there's there is reasons because your divine masculine have no place for live but he gonna tell you something about that your divine masculine gonna talk to you he's right now unstable with his life let me see What's going on with them? With tarot cards. Let me see. What's going on right now with my masculine? They have been in control of others. This can be fire sign, Leo. It can be Virgo, earth sign. So I feel here there is strong energy of fire sign. And this person have been in control issues. People have been controlling your divine masculine. And your divine masculine won't release himself from this control. I don't know what's happening with my <clears throat> voice, but this is channeling from your divine masculine, from your thin flame. So I feel like a, they have problem to speak. It can be from a lot of partying, from alcohol. Whatever this is, they can't speak. Or others don't give them to speak to you. They're gonna release themselves from some control issue. I'm seeing here. They have no strength, they have no power.
they may be also thinking that you're controlling them and they're trying to run away from that control. But there it is. They're thinking something to tell to you. They're thinking about communication to you. But look, your Divine Masculine are not in right position now. When how he feel emotionally, he's very unstable. Somebody have been controlling your Divine Masculine to don't come back to you, to don't apologize to you. We have strongly fire sign and two cards. What we got here. Is these cards they going to release themselves from some commitment they this what I'm seeing it is from somebody else uh, they maybe have in um, time of recovering and there have been somebody with them something they're gonna release I'm not seeing that there was another female, if your thin flame is male. Let me see what is in his feelings for you. It was between two decisions. He didn't know what to decide, but now it's coming to one decision. And uh, there's something what they cannot give you, something big. They will think they will give you something big like engagement, like marriage. So that's why I tell you, Divine Feminine, that's why I tell you, they gonna speak about money and why they cannot commit right now to you because they cannot offer you this right now doesn't mean they don't want they just can't do it right now this is what i'm hearing they can't do it right now we need one more card because they are very unstable this fire sign the cleo sagittarius aries they're very unstable. All these cards are in reversal. They're unstable with them emotions, with them passion, with motivation. But we got some cards here, Divine Family. What your Divine Masculine wants is he want this ten of cups with you he want there is again card of marriage so this is divine family saying this is absolutely same card these two cards so they want with you life they want to invest they have three of pentacles they want to do something good but right now they can't move they can't move, they know that they have been act selfish, that they have been act like a child and they have been stressed you a lot. There is your card, Divine Feminine, in reversal. I'm going to put your card in upright position. They know what they have been done, selfish, in them addictions, but even if they apologize to you, they don't doing that seriously. So they understanding that they really, really messed up all situation and uh, it's not going to be easy for them because there is other people. But your Divine Masculine will come back with this message to you very fast. And there will be commitment because you have been wait a lot. And the card of Moon is in reversal. They're going to Take that responsibilities in their hands. They don't want to end relationship with you. 
they have been in this tower they have been they have been not giving you equal with feelings they have been just left gone because of passion because that that feel they just was feel that they have to enjoy with somebody else they was found somebody else to just enjoy and and whatever it is here they regret for that they don't want to end relationship with you they want to take responsibilities in their hands they feel ashamed for what they've done and they want to speak truth but maybe they will not be able to speak you truth but they will at least show you true feelings from them and they know that for everything you need time they need time but the time it's already there and it's time for commitment so whatever they doing even if they can't give you something better right now they're going to communicate with you fast they're gonna come fast because this is two times we have this card of movement card of journey and this person gonna move very fast you can get communication very fast divine feminine so you can be cancer you can be leo what you also can be pisces they can be pisces what we have here we have scorpio also we have sagittarius So there it is, there it is, commitment divine family, on the bottom of the deck. So what I feel, I feel that they want to be with you, they want, but there is a big struggle with them. You see this card of emperor, it is also universal, and they have been escaping, because they have been trying to make better life for themselves. But they couldn't because there it is divine feminine card of two cups with you this fire you maybe also have fire in your astrological chart it doesn't matter you don't have to have but you have that flame that fire but but burning for them and you are you are the twin flame they can't be without you and this card of wheel of fortune is there Look, Divine Feminine, this is something that's coming. Divine Timing, Universe, it's coming. Whatever they're doing, they cannot escape from destiny, from destiny with you. So this Emperor, in whatever situation he is right now, unstable situation, he trying to away from that. He was trying to make new life only for themselves, lying to you, holding you on the side, founding somebody else, but it is not working. They can't be without you. So they come back because they want to be with you. They want. And look, it will come to communication. So be prepared, Divine Family. There will be video call, phone call, voice call. It will be from the far distance. So, I'm gonna take a little cards, handmade cards, so we can see is there any message from your Divine Masculine. Wait a second. Okay, I got cards. So let me see what messages we have here for you, Divine Feminine.
what Divine Masculine want to tell you. I am not ready. I don't know, can you see? They say, I am not ready. Maybe you can't see. This is what is matching with what we saw in tarot cards and gypsy cards that they are not ready, Divine Feminine. They need time. They need time to make that money. They need time to be able to give you something. I am busy with work. I am not avoiding you. I am busy with work. I am not avoiding you. So they say, I'm not ready, I'm busy with work, I'm not avoiding you. So this have sense. Wow, one card fell down, so let me see what is that. I'm scared of commitment. This fell down, it means that they're releasing themselves from this way of thinking. So they are not ready, but they will be. Can you forgive me? Wow, this is very deep. Can you forgive me? So Divine Feminine, there is your cards. How can I show you this? I hope you can see. They want your forgiveness. Let me see. We have more cards here. Get answer. What Divine Masculine want to tell you? Is there any message what they want to tell you? Again, some card fell down. Well, two cards fell down. One of these cards, what we already got. I am not ready. So they are releasing themselves from that. They will be ready, Divine Feminine. Let me see what card was fell down. Can you see? Okay, I can see. I did not sleep with anyone. They say they didn't sleep with anyone. So, maybe some of them want to release themselves from that control. Maybe they was controlling themselves. They didn't want to touch anybody, to sleep with anybody, to involve with themselves with anybody emotionally, but they maybe want to release themselves because because they are in influence from others, but and that because they have been scared from that commitment, but what I'm seeing here, they're not going to be scared anymore. They will be ready and they want your forgiveness. Is there anything else that we should know? I don't want us to break up. Wow, this card was so fast. I did not cheat on you. So this is cards what we got Divine Feminine. I'm gonna repeat all these cards to you. 
I am not ready. They releasing the stuff from that. What they also say. I am scared of commitment. They releasing the stuff from that. They will be. I don't want us to break up. I am busy with work. I am not avoiding you. Can you forgive me? I didn't cheat on you. And I didn't sleep with anybody else. So these messages are very important. What did I ask me want to tell you? The way they have been treated you. It is because they have been they have been scared from everything. They have been in that thinking that they are not ready. They have been also in influence from others. Whoever they have been met, they have been pretending in front of that people that they are happy with their life, that they are enjoying in parties. They have been trying to make new life with somebody else. They have been met somebody else, in my opinion. But that is not working. They know that they can lose you. They can completely lose what they have with you. So they are coming back to you and they are bringing these words with them. So I hope this reading going to help you. I hope you are going to get some clarity. We have here too many cards. What was fell down on the floor, that means they're releasing themselves from many of thinking, from many of that control issues. That's why we was got this card of string. They have been in control of others. They have been in their own control, in their own ego, because we got that card of emperor in reversal. It was not easy. This is not easy energy. Your person can be very, very self-centered. They care only themselves. And what we got on the beginning, the two cards of widower and widow, if they have been hurt you, if they have been disrespected in front of your family, they have been done something, you have to tell them. They have to understand that they can lose you. They have to, again, value you they have to put you as priority divine family whatever they have been done you have to explain them not to judge them you have to explain them if you feel hurt for what they done they have to understand that what was that what was hurting you so they don't repeat again because we see that this divine masculine want to come back to you but again, they're going through a lot of struggling. They cannot escape from addictions. It's not easy for them to release themselves from that addictions. And they're going deeper and deeper in that because they're always remembering and they're ashamed of what they have been done. But at least you can say to them, what is that what hurting you? And say them clearly. When they come with that communication to you, you explain to them, tell them what is that what hurting you, what they have been done, what hurting you. Don't just say this hurts me. Say you have been done this and this, that was hurt me. So they, if they truly love you, they will stop, they will not repeat that. So you have to speak openly and clearly. And you have to tell them that you're valuing yourself, that your time is also very important. So if they have been put you on the side to wait on them too long, this will stop. If you want them to make actions, you have to tell them. You can't just sit and wait in silence. You have to say, where is your boundaries? You have to say, you gave enough time. How much time you gave? Several months, one year, two years, more than that? You have to explain that. 
the more time you both in separation, it's more going to hurt each other. Through all that time, they have been learned, they have been experienced through their mistakes. And you have been in awakening divine family. And you are the one who have to tell them. You have to tell them how you feel and how they impact on relationship, the way they act, the way they treat. You are the one who teach them and guiding them. But don't control them. You can't push them to go back to you. You can't control them to be with you. It's gonna happen in divine, divine timing. Universe will step and bring them to you on your doors. But for that time, just clear things with them. You don't deserve to live in pain. If you're going through pain, if you're going through sadness, if you experience the dark nights of soul, you have to tell. Don't pretend when they come to talk to you that you're happy because they came, because that conversation will not help you anything. Only honest conversation where both of you can clear things with each other can make some progress. They can understand what they're losing with you and what is that pure, what was there, and if they can bring back that, they will work on that. If they truly care to be with you, and we think that they care, but they have been in influence from others. So I hope you understand this my advice. And if you need private reading, you can contact me. I will be so glad to hear from you. If any of this matching to your story, let me know in the comments. I will be so glad to hear from you. Thank you for watching, for listening, and see you next time. Bye.